When I got into teaching, I did not think I would become a dancer in the chemistry lab with my students. Every week, Professor Andre Isaacs and his students are conducting research. So what are yields looking like? And learning choreography. All right, I think I can do that. You got it. The Associate Professor of Chemistry at the College of the Holy Cross is fusing pop culture with science lessons on TikTok. The reaction? More than 480,000 followers and more than 4 million views. As an elder millennial, I don't think my body moves the way in which Gen Zs um, do. And you know, in that moment, we're kind of flipping the switch, right? The student became the teacher and the teacher became the student. Can somebody call said, okay, five, no. six, seven, eight under their breath when she pulls me in? His videos often feature an experiment. I'm going to take this rosé and I'm going to turn it into milk. A history lesson? Let me introduce you to African-American chemist, Alma Hayden. And a trending dance, complete with his popular rainbow lab coat. 80 degrees, 65 actually, 65. But it's not all play. We spend a significant amount of time doing research and in our downtime, we, we like to create videos. For Professor Isaacs, engaging his students through social media has strengthened his bond with them. They come into our classrooms and they have to make themselves vulnerable about their you know, intelligence, about you know, what they know. But that doesn't happen on the other side, right? The faculty member doesn't have to be vulnerable. It was so important to students for me to have like a growth mindset to remind them that I believe in them, they can do this, much as my students said, I think you can handle this stance. And that's been kind of a, a guiding principle because now you've been, you're more vulnerable with, with your students and so they trust you more. The whole point of the dancing is to meet students where they're at in whatever ways they need. As a black and queer scientist, the professor is using his platform to create more interest and inclusivity in STEM. I think for a lot of students, seeing someone who holds all these intersectional identities thriving in the space and, and having that sense of belonging is, is really inspiring um, a lot of younger folk. Professor Isaac's mentorship and fun approach to chemistry is what drew his students to the subject. He sees his students and the people in his research groups as true people and really tries to kind of cultivate their interests and passions and what they want to do beyond chemistry. Chemistry in, its, in of itself is difficult and just being able to do chemistry while having fun uh, is something to really enjoy. And for the chemistry professor, that's what success looks like to him. It's very important for us to realize that science can be conducted by anyone, right? And, and it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter how you identify. I want students to realize that their, whatever they bring is an asset, right? And that science is better when people bring their, their unique qualities and skills to the table. But as far as his dancing goes... He is a little bit of a slow learner, but he is a great dancer. For now, Professor Isaacs is encouraging the next generation of scientists to step into their element. All right, let's do it. Showtime. Because chemistry can be intimidating to some. I know it was for me. So listen to this. In recent years, Professor Isaacs has seen an increase in applications to be part of his lab crew and an increase in students declaring chemistry as oh, their major. Wow. He's not sure if that's because of his social media, but his videos are definitely bringing awareness to the subject. And you can check out our Today Show TikTok because the professor and his students made a video just <laughs> for us. But you did a story yesterday. I mean, it's so encouraging to see um, these teachers who are really changing we well, have to lives. meet kids where they are yes. and bring yes. the lessons to life. Yes. Bring, I still, fun. I remember my third grade teacher, Doug Brandon, who taught us like how to measure by making scrambled eggs. Like we measure, oh, I, yeah. I still remember. See, they, Those. things stick. Yeah, so absolutely. just keep trying. Kudos to our teachers. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.